Hi, and welcome to City Agogo, coming to you from the fabulous Cinerama Theater. Well, this month we're focusing on film. So with that in mind, here's a sneak preview of some upcoming local film festivals. Enjoy. This year, we're getting ready for the second annual Real Cinerama Film Festival. At 15? And it's a celebration of the widescreen format, which is a combination of true three-strip Cinerama films and 70-millimeter films shown on the big, deeply curved Cinerama screen. In the late 60s, there were seven actual Cinerama format films made, which was a three-strip process, meaning three different cameras, three different rolls of film, and when the films were edited back together, there were three projectors that each show a different segment of film on the big screen. It was a very complicated, expensive process, and it was eventually replaced by 70 millimeter. But those seven films are huge pieces of American film history, and we're going to bring a couple of them back this year. How the West Was Won is a huge, epic three-strip film about conquering the Western United States. It stars Debbie Reynolds and a bunch of other great, great people. Don't you wish you could go on forever? We're hoping to do a 70 millimeter screening of Oklahoma. Oh, what a beautiful morning. There's really almost nowhere else in the world to see Cinerama films. After the 60s, they were torn down and replaced with regular multiplexes. So we're really lucky to have this kind of place right here in Seattle. Coming soon to a theater near you, the Seattle Jewish Film Festival will present eight days of magnificent films, really from all over the world. Australia, Sweden, Canada, Uganda, believe it or not. Our opening night film we're very excited about is called The First Israeli in Space. The First Israeli in Space is a portrait of a hero, both in Israel and uh, around the world, uh, for his involvement in the, the space program and the, the shuttle that blew up, but this filmmaker, the Israeli filmmaker, followed him for five years on his odyssey into space, and um, it's really uh, uplifting and very moving. We are also showing a great film from the past. It's the 20th anniversary of Broadway Danny Rose. Now, what happened? I don't understand. What the hell? I think it's Woody Allen's best movie. Not only is it one of his funniest, but really most fully integrated. He's nuts for you. Yeah, I got friends who told me he was out last night with a cheap blonde. I encourage any of you out there who are under the misconception that you're not Jewish to come on down and uh, be part of our festival. And now for the details. One, two, three, four. The Cinerama Reels Film Festival hits the screen March 4th through the 11th at, where else, the Cinerama. Get the full skinny at Cinerama.com. Experience the Seattle Jewish Film Festival March 13th through the 21st at the Cinerama and Pacific Place Theaters. Schedule information is available at AJCSeattle.org. Film Fest fun continues with the 7th Annual Irish Reels Film Festival March 4th through the 7th and the 13th and 14th. We'll be screening over 30 fresh new films from Ireland, featuring a special tribute to Dublin-born writer-director Neil Jordan, some of his seminal early works, and then his latest production, Intermission, with Colin Farrell. Check out irishreels.org for more. Don't miss the Eastside Musical Theatre's performance of the 1970s rock opera classic, Tommy, running February 20th through the 22nd. Information is at kpcenter.org. And finally, Life, A Guide for the Perplexed, the latest from those wild and crazy Karamazov brothers, runs February 25th through March 21st at ACT Theatre. Go to acttheatre.org to find out more. <laughs> Miss something? Not to worry. Go to seattlechannel.org and click on City of Go-Go. Well, that's it for City of Go-Go. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, we encourage you to get out there, try something new, and experience the awesome power of art. We'll see you next time. You won't want to miss the Guinness-soaked popcorn. Mmm.